Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we have some intense fights against some sweaty squads and honestly I should have been dead so many times in this game from the start of it all the way to the final circles where no bots were alive. This time I landed in platform and there were two squads with me but luckily no one landed on my side so I had enough time to loot and prepare for a fight. People ask me in the comments, Zara, why do you use adrenaline when you have 145 HP? This, this is why. 1 HP can save your life and it happens to me a lot. I really hate enemies who try to destroy my chopper thinking that I wanna run away. Like bro I came here to fight, I'm not going anywhere, please leave my chopper alone.
Here I was so confused as this player suddenly disappeared. I had a feeling that he was behind that run, but I just wasn't sure. So many players love to come in this server, it's crazy. I stopped shooting for a second there because those bullets should have been enough to kill him. But I guess he's either using refitter class or he took armor plates from his teammates. That's why it took longer to kill him. Now a normal human being will let the last player live so that he can revive his teammates back to the game to get even more kills. But kills isn't really a priority for me. When you're against sweaty aggressive squads, make sure they're dead. Otherwise you might end up regretting it later in the game.
Here I got sandwiched by snipers from two sides. So I used smokes to limit the vision of the sniper shooting from sanitarium to be able to push towards the sniper near me and kill him first. And this is one of the reasons why I set the smoke loot to 10. They can save your life in situations like this. Then I realized I was outside the zone so again I used smokes to block the vision of the snipers while I pushed towards the circle. I know you guys love the ending with the music so I didn't want to interrupt but it's important to explain what happened in that fight. So we start from here where I was looking for cover and I had to find it as fast as possible. There wasn't really a perfect cover but this little rock right here was the main reason I won. Using this rock I managed to split the enemy team into two groups, two on my right and two on my left. This way I make sure that they can't target me at once. Then I began picking them off starting with the far right enemy because if I started with Ted then I would have had to deal with two enemies at the same time. And I hit that guy so hard and he didn't go down but I realized he was outside the zone so I ignored him and I let the zone finish him off. Moving on to the next target and knowing that these two enemies are here I moved to the right side of the rock to block their vision allowing me to focus on Ted. And notice as I was on the ground I was reloading and I thought that my gun reloaded but sadly it didn't. And and that's a glitch in the game where the reload sound doesn't match the animation. It got me killed so many times and almost got me killed here too. Because right after I knocked Ted, I switched to the other two enemies thinking that I still had a lot of ammo in my mag. But in reality, I only had two bullets left. Luckily, I still had enough HP and the enemies also had to reload. So I took that chance and I switched to my Type 25. And this thing just melts at close range. They had absolutely no chance. I hope you guys enjoyed today's gameplay. And if you did, then a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.